This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 14th. Wow, middle of January already. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image this morning shows that we do have a good deal of clouds over the northern half of the state of Alabama. In addition to that, we also have dense fog, which is hard to show up much on the, the uh, infrared satellite image. Uh, the fog is generally along and just to the north of uh, a front that lies across the northern part of the state of Alabama this morning. And, of course, it is along that frontal boundary that uh, a good deal of ice, that orange area you see, is occurring from the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles all the way over to the mid-Atlantic states. The upper air uh, map is one that we certainly have become familiar with this winter with the upper ridge over the northern Florida and southeastern United States, while we have a very deep trough with a closed low, generally in the vicinity of Baja, California. The pattern is uh, creating a real contrast from a very mild weather across the southeastern United States. And as a matter of fact, across the southeast U.S., we tied and set some new record highs uh, for yesterday, especially across central Alabama. The uh, colder air, of course, is just to the north of that front. Uh, very cold up there in the north central United States with negative twos and negative eights and negative sixes. That's pretty chilly. But it's that boundary where the freezing rain and ice and winter weather advisories are occurring. We're looking at, uh, again, the dense fog pretty much uh, generally along and north of the uh, Interstate 20 corridor. And uh, you can see the fog symbols there on the map. But temperatures are very mild. As a matter of fact, uh, Birmingham showing 53. That's actually the average 30-year average high for this time of year. So our lows are where the highs should be. On the watch warning map, you can see uh, the gray areas uh, over the southeastern U.S. from Arkansas down to New Orleans and uh, southern, southeastern Louisiana and then up to across Tennessee. That's all dense fog. Uh, the purples and um, uh, deeper uh, maroon colors you see are uh, all winter weather warnings. And then the uh, off blues are actually uh, watches, winter weather watches. QPF-wise, uh, much of the rain staying to our north, but it does look like our best chance is going to come very late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Uh, and then another shot uh, comes in on Friday. This only goes through uh, the middle of the week or basically through Thursday morning. So it does look like probably on the order of a half inch or less for most locations. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal outlook, uh, marginal risk area outlook for severe weather for day one today uh, over uh, extreme southwestern Texas and uh, the Big Bend country from El Paso down into the Big Bend area of Texas. For day two, that's Sunday into early Monday, there's a large slight risk area surrounded by marginal risk centered primarily on central Texas. And then for day uh, three, which is Monday into Tuesday, there's a marginal risk uh, along that front uh, and along the upper air pattern that you'll see in a moment over the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley from East Texas and just north of the Corpus Christi area up to about Little Rock. All right, the, the 060 GFS model run this morning, and there's our surface pattern, and we may see a few showers across North Alabama, but I think this much of the central and the south part of the state remain uh, dry. Sunday, there's not much change in the overall surface pattern uh, as uh, we have that frontal boundary uh, off to the north and northwest of us. But the pattern changes are going to come later in the week. The upper air pattern features this very strong ridge over the eastern part of the country, keeping us in the mild weather. In the meantime, we have this very strong and deep trough that's likely to remain over uh, the southwestern U.S. and Baja, California, and northwestern Mexico for much of the week ahead until the latter part of the week. The upper trough uh, kicks a piece out. A fairly strong piece out on Monday, so that's going to create a good deal of uh, issues along that uh, boundary where the winter storm uh, warnings are in effect. Uh, but it, notice, too, that the GFS is keeping the trough holding back a very big chunk of that trough back over uh, northwestern Mexico and Baja, California. At the surface on Monday, you can see a surface low coming uh, across northeastern Oklahoma and uh, southeastern uh, Kansas, and that will be causing a good deal of problems. That will be dragging a front our direction as the upper trough moves uh, into the vicinity of being just west of Chicago on Tuesday, 
and that dra drags the front closer to us. But I think we stay dry until probably Tuesday afternoon as the front approaches. The upper trough moves into the New England area um, as kind of we see not quite phasing of the, uh, two, uh, the two streams, that one coming out of the south and the one coming across the northern U.S., uh, but we're still under a ridge down here, so what happens is the front pretty much washes out, although I think our better chances for rain are going to come early Wednesday morning, even though by Wednesday at midday you can see the chances are pretty slim. The front stays in our area as we continue to see the ridge uh, with a southwesterly flow and the trough over the northern Mexico on Thursday. And uh, once again, that there's a front in our area, so we're going to say stay somewhat unsettled on Thursday. By Friday, a big chunk is coming out in the form of a short wave coming through the lower Mississippi River Valley while we see the major trough coming out uh, of the central Rockies there. And that will produce a surface low over Kansas with a front coming uh, uh, out of the that surface low and coming across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So Friday looks like a day we could see some rain. The southwesterly flow continues on Saturday aloft, so we're not going to cool off much, uh, even though the front is forecast to move on through uh, and uh, move on to the Gulf Coast uh, by the weekend. It does look like, if when we look at thicknesses, it does look like the uh, upper uh, pattern will be such that we're, we'll be not at record levels, but we will still be unseasonably warm for this time of year. Looking out into voodoo country, we have a really big trough to deal with and a closed low coming out across the lower Mississippi River Valley on Monday, the 23rd of January. And this uh, pattern, along with the surface pattern for this same time, features a surface low in the vicinity of Paducah, Kentucky, and that certainly has the look of severe weather. Now, will it be there tomorrow? Hard to say. This is out into, and we're edging out into voodoo country, but it's a possibility. The trough uh, takes on, uh, or the, the pattern takes on a decidedly colder look by Tuesday, the 24th of January. And uh, then the pattern flattens out on the 26th, and it stays flat for us uh, on the 29th as we watch the development of another trough over uh, the southwestern United States as well as northern Mexico and Baja California. So it looks like the pattern's just repeating. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.